Let's I was that. just in London, and I'm telling you right now, I had some ladies putting their booty in my face. <laughs> they, they did not know who I was. <laughs> Even my wife was like, nice booty, all right, thank you. <laughs>
So if it was 2005 and I was saying to you, the market's going to make an adjustment, you need to stockpile more cash so you're in a better position, right? In 2005, not a lot of people were listening to me, right? Not a lot of people were listening. I can remember in like the 87 stock market, right? Somebody said to me, hey, you might want to pull your money out of the market before this whole thing goes crazy. And I was 17 already investing then. And I'm like, what do you mean? I'm never going to live forever. And <laughs> right? Completely gone. I bought my first house at 18 years old, right? $155,000 property, two bedroom, little one bath. I took the little like loft up top and rented out the unit below to my buddy for basically my mortgage payment plus 200 bucks, <laughs> bing, right? <laughs> but here's the deal. Within, I don't know, six months, that thing was worth 75,000 bucks. The market shifts, right or wrong, guys? All the time, all the time, all the time. And this is what I know. Look your buddy right in the eye and say, cash is king. The point is simply this, I see so, like I get phone calls, I, I can't say the name of this person, but a very famous New York City real estate agent calls me, hi, <laughs> you know who I am, I'm like, yes, I know who you are, can we talk, sure, last year I did like $300 million in sales, and you know, I've been crushing forever, and you know, you've probably seen me everywhere, and I'm like, okay, yes, ego, yes, I gotcha, how can I help, you're not calling me to tell me how good you are. He's like, well, around last October, the market really shifted, and I kind of struggled, and I didn't make some good decisions, and basically, you know, I went from like $300 million in lagging sales that all closed, and now it's like, you know, March, and I've done like four deals, and I've made no money, and I have no money, and please don't tell anybody, what do I do? <laughs> and I'm like, brother, look, first of all, you need to live off less and stop buying dumb stuff. <laughs> you with me on this? And he was like... Well, that's so simple. I know, common sense to common practice. Live off less, stop buying dumb stuff. If you buy a coffee mug that says Mohegan Sun on it while you're here, I am going to punch you in the throat. You with me on this? I'm dead serious, and metaphorically, you all know what I'm talking about, right? Track and measure your dollars rigorously. Demand a better ROI from yourself and everything you do. Every prospect you meet, there is an ROI associated to it. It might not be a transaction, but the experience could be so special. They're like, I don't want to buy and sell, but she was magical. There was just something about her, and they could tell all their friends, and then the ROI from that is massive. Does that make sense?